Marie and I are about to play a snag hole. We've set up a miniature golf course, but we're gonna use the snag equipment. That's one of the things that makes snags so effective and so unique. Instead of just learning to hit the ball, we're actually gonna to learn to play the game. And if you're gonna get the maximum enjoyment, that's what you need to do. You wanna learn how to score well, deal with all the challenges that you're likely to face on a golf course. With the snag equipment, you can set up a miniature golf course, and therefore you get to learn all those things, all the rules, all the challenges, and all the etiquette that goes with it. You simply use different cones and different color cones to distinguish a fairway, where is out of bounds, where there's water, also where the fairway goes, and then of course the green where you're gonna eventually putt out on and get your final score. So in a very small space, even possibly in your garden or at the park, you can actually play a proper game of golf using the snag equipment. Snag replicates a traditional golf course by having different teeing grounds to tee off from. That basically can make the hole harder or easier depending on your standard. We have the amateur tee at the front, the professional tee in the middle, and then the champion tee at the back. So as you get better, you can gradually go further back, that makes the hole harder. And again, that challenges you to improve your skills. Marie's been playing for a while, so she's no longer on the amateur tee. She'll be going off the professional tee in a moment. And I won the last time we played, so I'm going on the champion tee. So let's go and have a look and get started. So I've got my launch pad down. I've lined myself up for the middle of the fairway. And let's have a shot. Now I've hit that well, but that looks like that's just going to roll out of bounds. So we need to go and take a look at that in a moment. Now it's Marie's turn, but you will notice, you go ahead Marie, you notice where Marie was standing here, she was behind me and to the side of me. That's a very safe place to stand. For example, it wouldn't be a good idea, even though Marie's a good player, if I stood slightly in front of her here, that could be dangerous. She's only got to have a lapse of concentration, a bad shot could come and hit me. So always make sure you stand behind the player and slightly to the side and give them room to swing. Very nice shot. So I can actually see from here that my ball has gone out of bounds, so I'm gonna play what's called a provisional shot. That means there's a penalty shot involved. So now this will be my third shot. So that's a good shot straight down the fairway, and even though I've only hit the ball twice, I am there for three because of the penalty shot. So we've made our way down to the fairway. Both of us are very nicely positioned, just missing the water here on the right. We're gonna play our approach shots into the green. But remember, I'm here for three shots because of my penalty shot for going out of bounds. Marie is there for one. We're now gonna play our second shots towards the green, which is defined by those yellow cones. I get to go first because I'm further from the hole than Marie is. I have to play my shot first. Notice Marie again is standing in the correct place, just to the side of me and slightly back, so she's completely safe. Now let's see if I can get this really close to the flag to give me any chance of getting a half on this hole with Marie. Well, played it nicely, it's on the green. Marie, your turn. I'm gonna pick up my launch pad, not stay here. I'm gonna move again over to the side of Marie and slightly back. Oh, Marie's on pretty good form today, nicely on the green, good shot. So Marie and I have both hit good approach shots, we're on the green. I'm slightly closer than Marie's, so that means she will get to play first this time because she's further away. The green, as you can see, is defined by these yellow cones. That means we now putt, or in snag terms, we use our roller. So Marie, go ahead. Once again, give the player who's playing plenty of space and keep away from them. Ah, oh, very good, very good. Now Marie is in for three, that's a birdie on this par four hole. One of the nice things about golf is the courtesy that's extended to other players. Even though Marie's beating me on this hole, you'll tend to find golfers praise other golfers for their good shots, even through gritted teeth. Well, mine would have gone in, but Marie's ball's gone in the way there. But she's one, she's down in three, I'm down in five. So it looks like Marie's gonna be on the champion tee next time. Well done, Marie.